for Sweden. We have to start the time. Okay, that's the place. Not a forest. And I hope that uh, But football? Not. So. Even of Sharenkov. The call. Things that were not. When the discussion and people discuss, and well, now is one gene or more than many of the but also. at the moment are in the genes uh, area and related to and On the call, who is at the ongoing, of course. What we are interested in of answer is talking particular. And we will look at this sequence of some characters by Vernon Sen into the and we will look at the gene. The sequencing project comprise the human genome or consists of repetition. This just sometimes just the encoded DNA just in the fifty percent. The human and other genes are finding the location to their biology after e with that introduction. That is done in which they have been chronic element of own disease. Is or gronk in an intern of in the law of genics point on the head 
что в In the case of Megabase away from one to one is mutations. After a study that was which have looked at the thousands of patients which studies and the genome data testing that none On coding part, you won't be able to jump through the prism of tissue species. You are hard on tissue specific elements of R. So you have to gain some know how to recognize the code of that's what we're going to be talking about today. And in progression, this is a Regulatory element in a way that you see equipment. What bond bind to this? Just the order of the element. It's engineering approach. Well, The order of body inside ensures that specific elements. So let's go into we so called you look at the in case we look at the elements and when a lot of them, you can try to extract sequences and sequence combinations that are specific. So to do so, you have to have a large collection of regulatory elements. Otherwise, what you're going to learn is not going to represent the full specific regulatory elements. And now we had, we had a collection in countries that we largely collected from from the literature, but also we've got 30 elements, around 30 elements of collaborating in New Chicago. We did a lot of experiments to get those. And some of them, we've got our colleague from Berkeley who did mouse experiments and also invite new heart and hands. We had this large collection of elements that we wanted to look at, we wanted to compare them to each other and find these gene signatures that would distinguish them specifically from the of the non coding human genome. And in order to do so, we define a classifier. We define a classifier that would look at the controls and get a range of answers with the thousand approach. At first, we went into the process of factors from transfer and augmented set. Is motives that sample and mixed up on priority and to extract additional elements and in fact each vector and see of seven how we could apply the numerical and we use 
while all the other was more closer to any sense and with more of our hand. And what I would predict the biology of an element of an The first one to look at our sequences while collecting them from different experiments and were all extremely hard, not all of them looked like. And one was a critical point. Until we, we reached it, we were not really able to we saw that we have, and this is this is cross validation where we would, we would train our classifier on several elements and apply it to, to the remaining hidden set, and we'll see when we will get a positive or not. So for every element, we would repeat this process a number of times with different training sets, and we'll see how often it will be as positive or it will be predicted as negative, and you would expect those elements to share with the rest to be mainly predicted as positives and those differ to get a score and that's what's exactly what I've said. For the point of the set, elements were coming back positive scores and there were some elements that did not look like the rest of it. So you had to count those elements and to keep those uh, keep in those 50 elements that would come with positive scores in general. Was a genius of heart answers that we could train on to get the heart core on. And when at the classifier, we saw that out of 726, some of them can be positive score, some of them can be the majority of them were rejected from the classification for the irrelevant function of heart answers. If you look at the features of different trash factors, they because all the factors in the population, only a small set, and we predict that important or so are important for and what are the trash factors that we predict for here with different with different schools. Course on vertical axis shows the first while horizontal axis list and most literatures that we use the classification of those that are indeed not a population with no count leading to cardiovascular illness. And those that are marked by an aesthetic sign of uh, 20, they are indeed the shape. With children that what it seems to be a combination of what that are development. development. So with that, that that's fine, but as you, you probably data is it a shock binding sets they're no they're far from complete. Non binding sets got five out of twenty motifs that are predicted then over. We are going to build the correct classifier. And when we look, looked and we have question what maybe we couldn't map them to non binding companies, we could only map them to families of binding. We looked at this moment, we saw that what they map to, they map, map to, to and SP1 families. Those families that are also known to be for hard development, suggesting that we that might not be profiled in this database, but the time of heart development. With this, we looked at the score of positive and negative elements in our testing set. So you train a cluster with this hidden set, you can look at the sequences, you can try to see whether they would come up with positive scores. That's exactly what you hear. You see here two histograms of, of elements, positive elements and control elements in tenfold cross validation. And what 
can see, you can see that the distribution of score looks quite different. You can see that positive elements come up positive scores predominantly, while negative elements come up negative scores. It's, it's, it, means, it means that in reality, this simple way of scoring you can tell you that there is a threshold that you can use to effectively separate heart enhancers from control elements based on the score that the classifier generates. It tells us to apply this method to a non-coding sequence and to try to accurately predict whether it is heart enhancer or not. And what do I mean by accurately? This is the looking at the Clear. This uh, receiver operator curve is and how they use the positive rate, positive rate of your predictions, and, and it doesn't work. It's, if it's random process, flipping a coin, see it on the line. And the better you classify the further is away from the diagonal line. So what you are trying to push the in the corner, and the closer you are to the corner, 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 the at the very low false positive rate, we were gaining an entity of the priest. Suggesting that if applied to a large number of sequences, we can generate previous nice And how it in all the non code sequences in the human genome. So, what through this platform, we use the sliding window to go piece in the human genome and a score to 130 conserved non coding elements that were 150 base pairs. And this histogram, this gram of all these elements, and the histogram is centered on the number, on the score, and the zero score is what we design. And you see the shift to the left, the second shift to the left. Very, very that our classifier suggests that the majority of the elements you may know are not heart enhancers, and that's exactly what would be expected. Only a small fraction, relatively small fraction, with positives. These were for 2,000 conserved non coding elements, those that would all negative heart enhancers. And these are also the scores of the that in the training, so obviously they were positives. And we had we the set of these elements that we call an acute model of heart and hand. So, to see is how are they going to operate genes that are highly expressed in the heart, genes that we have not used for us at all. Do we see any of our predictions close to genes that are highly expressed in the heart? We see many. And what you see in this plot, you see it's four different loci. You see four different loci that comprise of many, many genes. All of them are centered on edges that are highly expressed in the in the light by the color. So the red color corresponds to genes. Dark colors correspond to genes that are well expressed in the color. And on top of these genes, you see a force generated by our classifier. And it will well define peaks. And what you can observe is these peaks are indeed close to the genes that has not been used in our classification process. Information that seems to correlate well with what we predict. And that's the point, but this is just for examples. What if we will look at all the genes and if we would can in the genes highly expressed in the heart, 
identity inside of the genes highly expressed in another tissue. Elements also be associated, for example, genes highly expressed in the liver or brain. And as you see on this graph, you see the density of our predictions in a, in a set of highly expressed and you see 79 different tissues. An average level of average level of density for predictions and it varies from density and for the, for the majority of them there is some kind of identity and one other. The other are the genes highly expressed in the heart genome. Indeed, we specifically predict elements that task is only genes that are highly expressed in the heart, and there is only one run which is skeletal model suggesting that as heart as a muscle and maybe by training on heart hands there is a contamination or some kind of muscle load that we are recovering in addition to the heart code. This all fine. This all fine how all the validation has been secret and all what I told you has been computational and that it has not been enough for us to trust that what we predict are indeed heart enhancers. So we have to go to our experimental, uh, experimental colleagues and to them help to see how the sequences are going to behave. So this is the upstream of a promoter, ubiquitous promoter, and the reporter gene get them into the embryos and to see whether they are going to the direction of the reporter gene or not, and if they will. Are they going to drive the expression of the reporter gene in the heart? And I'm sorry for the quality of this image. What it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be an embryo of zebra fish, and that's, that's the tail. Over here, that you see, is the head, and over here is the heart. And that's one of the elements that drives the expression in the heart. And we would like to be able to, to test as many as we can and to see how many of them our predicted elements drive expression in the heart. And what I'm going to do now, and, and let's let's look at and this is an element that to the going multiple pieces of and then. And six out of the those elements are in vivo. Hence, this point that the implant elements none of them. And indeed, we have a nice CTV predictions. And though they have while with his step in the mosque, so two four elements that were placed by within our college University of Chicago that were in four in four in all placed in these two we want to talk that specific element can only be heart cells. And to answer this question, there are any tricks or changes to the other specific enhancers. And, uh, in this case, it's, it's most the P and Lipsic data generated by cells and Hikala at Berkeley Lab. We applied it to four brain links. As you can see from these rock curves, again, we got a very nice case suggesting that this approach is indeed capable of predicting two specific that, that corresponds. With that, let me try and want to emphasize the key point of presentation. Indeed, I don't know my discovery. On such models, it's 
want to train an accurate elements we generate maps of this family for 4,000 of them and the human genome and show that some of them will be and in this case we want an approach can be used to more against Whistler. our goal is to go from types of components, etc. Let me add this work that has been done by Lil Nakara, a postdoc, in my group, and the experiment who came from the University of Chicago, Marcel Nagas group, and of course, Fabio Lander Mulansky and Fabio Arimura, who worked in his group on the dental testing. Very much. Um, we have some few minutes for questions. So, anyone has a question? Please go to the microphone. Any question? One question there. So, uh, thank you. Um, so, I appreciate how shown that your motifs are spread in the heart. Uh, have you determined if any of the transcription factors, such as uh, get to Knocked out or not down slightly. If that has any other heart specific types, beyond expression, like does it impair both? Does it uh, enhance it? Uh, have you considered studies along those lines? For the, for the majority of the 18 out of 26, there, there have been not experiments, including SRF and MF, MF2C, and in no experiments, they observed severe cardiovascular phenotypes, defects, and sometimes. Mice they just they they were not viable. So so they're just generally just abnormally growing. Um, there wasn't any other. For many for many of the studies we we predicted that there has been some previous work showing that indeed are heart heart specific tertiary factors and the knockouts they they do have their fitness. Okay, thank you. Okay, I have a question myself. Um, from the very beginning, when you start an egg or a sperm, they go together, you have one cell. Start differentiating. When do you get, or do you have any idea, that a key player that determines that these cells will be formed? Not, because every cell in the body has the whole genome. So at some certain point, someone has to find that. Absolutely. So, and uh, it's a great, you know, obviously, we start. We start with the stem cells and then they go into the different cells. And there are key signaling molecules, including SRFs, GAT4, T5, and others that would push these cells into hearts and would define the heart fate of this. And for, it's, it's an interplay between the elements and necessary factors, as well as, as what we hear, what we heard, different drugs is the structure of the chromatin. So all, all these components are going to play a role in pushing different cells into the, the different and making sure that we have heart and brain cells and brain, generally speaking. One last question. I went very short for mine, the last for you. Um, when you say heart, you mean cells or and how many type of cells do they have in heart? Because if I say brain, it's like 200 different cells there, neurons, glial, astroglial, whatever. So what is heart? I think it's, I think it's a great question. It's, uh, it's quite, quite stupid of me to, uh, to call heart enhancers. There are no, no heart enhancers. There are cell type specific enhancers. There are the sites and other, other cells in the heart, as well the brain, brains, the brains, etc., etc., etc. And by by getting the heart code, we've got a general code that corresponds to most cell types. Obviously, our next step is going to be to look at individual cell types and to try to tailor our predicted cell types. However, it is 
very challenging because for an approach like this, you have to have large training set. We have to get large training sets that are specific types, and then we'll be able to extract this type specific code. And but obviously that's the goal. That's all the stuff. Also collaborate with a very good biologist. I can tell you the difference between the different. Some. I guess it's not very well understood. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, now we have the next speaker.